How are we doing, guys? We're doing well? Good. That's good, man. I, I've been having a good year. I, I started taking care of my mental health this year. That was cool. I, uh, I went to the psychiatrist for the first time in my life, man. And apparently they don't usually do this, but he prescribed me Xanax for depression. And it worked. It worked, dude. I'm no longer depressed because now I sell Xanax and I'm rich. <laughs> Thank you. My doctor's like, do you still have anxiety? I'm like, I have assets now, dog. <laughs> it's great. Uh, I've been enjoying the warm weather, though, man, for real. Like, I, I, I live in Midtown, like, near here, so I started walking again. I walk to Central Park, like, every morning now. And uh, this morning, I saw there was a gender reveal going on in Central Park. Uh, it was a man. He showed me his penis. <laughs> and uh, the craziest, dude, the craziest ever happened to me in Central Park is I can't believe this happened but somebody actually told me to go back to my country dude I thought I was gonna be upset right because I thought I was gonna turn around and see a white guy I turned around the guy was Native American I was like actually this guy's right <laughs> no dude the, the only thing similar to that that ever happened to me is one time somebody saw me and they're like go back to where you're from Jesus I was like heaven okay and one of my friends was there. He's like, were you upset? Were you upset that that guy called you Jesus? I'm like, no, dude, I'm not upset. That guy knows what Jesus really looked like. <laughs> I'm like, no, dude, I'm not upset he called me Jesus because when I was a child, I used to be called Osama. So this is an upgrade. <laughs> no, for real, dude, when I was in seventh grade, if you clap, you're going to hear less jokes. <laughs> when I was in seventh grade, this is a true story. I went to the water park with a bunch of my friends. And there was this little fourth grade girl, she's a piece of shit, she came up to me. <laughs> she, she came up to me, she's like, hi mister, will you come with me and play the Al-Qaeda game? Yeah, exactly. And I was a kid, I had no idea what that meant. So I chased her around the water park for like 45 minutes until I beheaded that bitch. Because, because she was wearing a swimsuit and that's anti-Sharia law, okay? I'm just saying, if you want to play the Osama game, you gotta live with the fucking Osama consequences. <laughs> Stupid bitch. No, <laughs> you guys are just so down for that that I don't wanna... <laughs> All right, let's try this. Uh, I had a good year, man. I, I was dating a 20-year-old at the beginning of this year. Just so you know, I'm 23 years old, okay? I know that's surprising, because I look like George Bush has been trying to kill me for 23 years. <laughs> But I, I dated this 20 year old and she was very cool, right? I'm not gonna fault her for being 20, but the only thing that was a little immature that she ever did was one time I told her a joke and she's like, mm, I didn't really like that joke. It was a little bit race. And I was like, what did that mean? She's like, oh, <laughs> it means a racist. I was like, did this bitch just abbreviate racism? <laughs> I was like, maybe there are some things we shouldn't abbreviate, right? We shouldn't be teaching our kids about Hitler and be like, guys, Hitler was a bad guy. He committed a geno. No, don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Don't be like, he sent him to Ashi and he killed six milli. <laughs> I learned about it in Shindy's List by C.B. Spielwheel. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. Uh... <laughs> It was cool dating someone young, because I got to learn, like, I, I'm not really good at slang. She taught me some shit. Like, clap if you've heard this phrase. Like, we would go party, and she's like, yeah, let's go get the pussy poppin'. <laughs> you, you two have heard that? Can you explain to me, miss, what the, what does that mean? Because I've been around a good amount of pussies. Never one time has it been like, so. <laughs> closest I've ever seen is when you pull out and it makes that deflating balloon noise. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like the ISIS drone over your fucking... <laughs> a lot of men, dude, a lot of men, when I say that joke, they want to know what that noise means, okay? So, man, I'll tell you. I've been talking to women, apparently. You know what that noise is? That noise is the vagina sign for relief that it's over. <laughs> That's what it is. The vagina's like, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Nah, but okay, so I wanted to know what it meant, right? So I went online and I Googled what does get the pussy poppin' mean, which really cool thing to Google, obviously. <laughs> apparently, apparently this is what it is. It's when a woman, she bends over 90 degrees like this, and she shakes her butt so that it claps 
like stupid people when an airplane lands, okay? <laughs> and I was like, all right, but that's not popping the pussy, right? There's no popping going on. At best, that's clapping. So now what I say is that I give the pussy the clap. <laughs> Me and that girl, we eventually broke up, man. We eventually broke up. I, I uh, cheated on her. Uh, <laughs> hey, before you think, I do, okay, I thought she wouldn't be mad. I thought she wouldn't be mad because she's Polly. She would go on and on about it, like, I'm Polly, I'm Polly. But apparently, that's just her name, so. <laughs> the fuck was I supposed to know? <laughs> I'm interested to see this audience, man. Clap, clap if you guys uh, were hit as kids. Clap if you were hit. All right. Cool, oh, man. My parents, my parents used to hit me a lot, like so much that I had to be like, stop Asian hate, you know? It never ended, really. <laughs> like, my dad was so strict. A lot of you guys might re uh, relate to this, but my dad used to do this thing where w if we were watching a movie and a sex scene came on when I was young, he would always cover my eyes. That way, I wouldn't see him masturbating. <laughs> All right, guys, you're a good crowd. Give it up for Anna, you're a host again. <laughs> 